Welcome back to Science Made Simple. I'm Dr. Boyd, the chemist. Today's experiment was actually inspired by my students at Roots Public Charter School in Washington, D.C., so shout out to them. We're going to find out if it is possible to change the color of the petals on a white carnation flower. If you want to follow along, here's what you'll need. You'll need a clear container, like a vase or glass or cup. You'll need scissors. You'll also need water-based food coloring with the color that you want to turn your flower petals into. You'll need water. And of course, you'll need a carnation flower with white petals. In a previous experiment, we took a celery stalk and placed it in water that had blue, blue dye added to it. We also, as a control, took a celery stalk and placed it in water that did not have any dye in it. In that experiment, I explained how it is that water travels from the roots of a plant and up through it, out through its leaves at the top. What we learned is that it is possible to change the color of the leaves of a celery stalk if the water source has a dye in it. Today, we're going to try to find out if it is possible to change the color of white carnation flower petals. We're going to use a similar process. So you might want to go back and check out the celery stalk video first because I give a much more in-depth explanation of the process of fluid traveling from the roots of a plant out through the top of the plant. I also explained some other things in that video, so definitely check it out. Now, if it's possible to change the color of the leaves on a celery stalk, is it also possible to change the color of the petals on a white carnation flower simply by adding dye to its water source? What do you think? What's your hypothesis? Let's give it a try and find out. Today's experiment is very safe. So no need for goggles or a lab coat. However, because we're using food coloring and dyes, you might want to wear some gloves just so that your fingers and hands aren't the color of your dye when we're all finished. First, fill your clear container about halfway up with water. Then add your food coloring to the water. You want to make sure to use enough that the water is truly dyed. Now, stir the water with the dye to make sure it is mixed well. Now you need to cut the end of the stem of the flower. You want to cut the stem at an angle rather than perpendicular to the length of the stem. Place the bottom of the stem of the flower in your clear container with the dyed water. Now all you have to do is wait and observe. I'd recommend grabbing a notebook and writing down your observations every couple of hours. For example, at the two hour mark, the four hour mark, the six hour mark, and the eight hour mark, and so on. After two hours, you can already see a slight change in color to the flower petals. As we go from two hours to three hours to four hours, the color of the dye in the water becomes more pronounced within the petals of the flowers. At the 12 hour mark, there is no denying the impact of the dye in the water on the color of the white flower petals. So just like what we saw with the celery, the color of a carnation flower petal can be changed by adding a dye to the water source that the carnation flower is using. 